Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I surprisingly find out that the PDS of Fallout 76 is back online. That's that's a big surprise for me. I never thought it's gonna come back so early. They said they're gonna give it to us around 5th of October, as I mentioned in my previous video. But now, it's here. Atlantic City is here on the PDS. But at this moment, the Atlantic City content is not in the PTS yet. They're going to roll out on the 3rd of October. Now what we can do is to test some kind of new player features. They just added in like a new uh, new quest line. You can pick up from the lumber mill right outside 76. And you can retry the class 2's options when you leave the vault. And they also add a new location, which is a cave for the quest line. You can pick up from lumber mill location. And I just finished the download. I haven't really get into the game yet. Oh, what's that? Is that a new creature? I guess it's. It must be a new creature. The devil creature, I guess. It looks cool. I'm. I'm so excited. And there are a lot of new items that are actually published together with this PDS. So in this video episode, let's go to see all the new art they put into the game. And thanks for the daily morning DSJ. He actually digged out a lot of score items for the next season as well as the autumn shop stuff. So let's get on with the scoreboards first. That's a lovely dinosaur helmet. Very nice. I have no clue what the hell is this thing. A backpack. Another backpack. That's a new pen for the power armor. Do we have a better look? Oh, there it is. It looks very good. It's like a Roman style of power armor. It does go well with the, the glaive. I love that one. A hat, lovely silver dress. That looks good in my character. Another coffee machine. We already got two or three. Now this is the third one or fourth one. I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of coffee machine we got. I guess it's dash box. Another backpack. Players one, players two. I guess one is for Fallout first, another one's for normal players. More paint for power armor, as always. I don't like it, to be frank. Nothing special. With a number seven in the front. Oh, that's a skin for the pitchfork, isn't it? It must be the pitchfork. Yeah, well, it looks cool, but I don't think I'm going to use it. It's going to be a real display in the camp, I guess. Oh, by the way, in the new PTS, we got a camp item, which can create different weathers in your camp. I'd love to see what that's going to look like. More pens for the grenade launcher. White and red schemes. The same one for the auto chainsaw. Look okay. Ah, amazing paint for 10mm. Well, the 10mm looks so huge when you put the surprise on, isn't it? But the pen looks good. Well, not one, but two. Two pen, I guess. One of those must be for Fallout first members. I guess this one is probably for the normal people. Hold on, that's that's a third skin for 10 millimeters. I mean, they did actually roll out my circuit break in the current season. That's the biggest point for me. Are they going to roll it up in the next season? I hope so. 
But I still don't understand why suddenly they give us three different skins for 10 mm. So there's another skin for combat rifle. Yep. For auto shotgun. So it's all casino skimmed paint. The paint for the Gatling laser, Gatling plasma, Gauss mini. Wow, they, this pen looks amazing on the plasma gun. I mean, I was using a lot of this gun in the current game. That's gonna be a great thing to add it in. It looks very high tech and clean. So I guess this is not for the pistol, but for the outfit. So they have added in a new set of armors into the game. Oh, I almost forgot the biggest news. The biggest news I have to tell you Atlantic City is another expedition. It's not a DLC, it's an expedition just like the pit. We're gonna just jump in, do some quests, and pop out, get our rewards. That's what exactly I expected in the right beginning. And it comes with a full set of new armor, which is called Mini, Money, Money. I don't know how to read it. But it comes with a full mode set and with the cap level of 60. Because you know, the level 50 currently is a cap level for all the armors inside the game. And this money armor is level 60. I'm actually expecting it to be really good. But again, that's another hell of grinding to get it and mold it and roll it. Oh, as hurt when even I think about it. That's everything for the school board so far. Let's see what they got in the atomic shop. A neon skin for Galling gun. Ah, oh, that glowing mask. I like that. Nuts hat. Yeah, this mask gonna glow in the dark. I really love it. Wow, did, do you do you see what I see? This lady looks like Mr. Todd. Isn't it? Somehow. <laughs> Scholar hat. A skull mark. Looks cool. Cowboy hat. Cowboy suit. That's a cow suit. Another cow suit for man. A new suit. This suit looks disgusting to be frank. Uh, what? What's that? Is that a skin or... It must be a skin, but what skin is that? What armor is that? It looks like a... Imposter... Robert, isn't it? That's funny. Oh, it's... Yeah, this one. It looks like... A low spec Robert. Funny to have. New outfit. Rocket engineer, I guess. A party hat. Happy birthday party hat, okay. Ooh, this mask looks cool. It goes very well with a lot of outfits, to be frank. And this helmet doesn't look that cool when you really put it on. Uh, okay, that's a helmet. It does look very creepy. Ah, uh, so this helmet actually comes with corresponding outfit as well. That looks cool. I might take this. Another outfit, soldiers. Ah, uh, that's the glowing skeleton outfit. Should actually go with the glowing skeleton helmet as well. We got a similar one in Nuclear Winters, didn't we? And someone got it, I never got it. Cause I, I suck in that game. Okay, outfits for some cowboys, nurse uniform, another dress for ladies, about 33? About 33? Why do we have about 33 uniform here? That doesn't make any sense. 
So that means we're gonna have a new vault coming up. Have a birthday cake. We should really have that in the game. In that kind of display or holder container. I don't know what's that. Sugar ball machine. Does that produce sugar ball? Ah, oh, it's a Frasier skin. I don't know. Ah, uh, what's that? Is that is that emote? That must be a new emote, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A new emote for barbecue. New outfit for communists. Oh, that's a pen for the gun. That's a pen for the combat rifle, isn't it? Another pen for power armor. The jetpack as well. Oh, this one, this one is called, I know what it's called. It's called Black Communist Power Armor Pen. We had a green version of it. Now they give us a black one. Why? Uh, this one looks cool. It's a free state power armor skin, if I remember correctly. It looks much better than the black communist one. It has kind of somehow Star Wars style, isn't it? It reminds me, is that Stormtrooper's helmet or Clone Trooper's helmet? That's a neon game for the assault rifle for handmade. Kind of weird. Looks good in the dark though. That the same skin for the assault rifle without neon though. Ah, a good skin for the crow later. That's nice. My heavy is currently stuck with the crow later now. With the two shot, this gun is pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice as well. Uh, what? What? <laughs> a new pen for the pain roller. Okay. Why why do we have this in the game? I, I have no clue. Is it purely for joking? A display? I don't know. But I do have a anti-armor fast wind pain roller in my collection. Oh there's more. Another pen for Tesla rifle photo frame. 5th anniversary one. Okay, quite a few new photo frames. That's nice. Okay, that's everything. There are something worth looking at, including that power armor skin from Trade State, some skins or pants for different weapons. I still wondered why they give us so many pants for for a 10mm pistol for the next season. Unless there's some new quests or new missions related to that gun. We'll find out later though. Alright, that's everything today. If you liked the video, please give me a thumb up and don't forget you can subscribe to my channel always to support me. But until next time, see you all again, out.